Welcome friends, myself Shaptapurni from BioLive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today our topic of discussion is flagship species. So what do you mean by flagship species? See, for many instances it happens that a particular habitat or an ecosystem is at great danger. Okay, the species uh, inhabiting that ecosystems are also very endangered or very vulnerable to become extinct. Okay, so in that case, we need to choose a very charismatic, very attractive species so that uh, the conservation effort can reach to the general people okay to the common people and uh, they come to see those species in the in their in situ habitat uh, in the forest okay and uh, and the uh, supply and the flow of money comes through tourism or they uh, they help to conserve those species in other terms also okay so flagship species are actually excellent tool to raise support for marketing of a conservation effort or campaign in a given place or social context okay so what are the main criteria to be selected as a flagship species obviously the species needs to be large and then charismatic that means they need to be very attractive okay or popular so that it could be used as an ambassador or icon to stimulate people for their conservation purpose okay we all know about lion elephant uh, these things which are very popular to us which we learn we, which we have seen in our books or in posters from our childhood but and those species are actually treated as flagship species which which are very popular very large we don't uh, account uh, other species like very less uh, popular species as ma as flagship species because they have less reach to the general public okay next flagship species may or may not be a keystone species obviously if it is a keystone species then conservation of that species also helps to conserve status of other species inhabiting in that habitat or vulnerable to the same threat as the flagship species okay so they they may be keystone or may not be keystone but if they are keystone species their conservation also helps to conserve that ecosystem as a whole okay and um, they are and they can also be like uh, um, like uh, used as an umbrella species or not okay now what are the main examples of flagship species see these are the main example of very charismatic flagship species like the royal bengal tiger so see the royal bengal tiger i have shown you this is our royal bengal tiger okay so royal bengal tiger or panthera tigris tigris is uh, very famous and uh, conservation of royal bengal tiger also will ho also help to conserve the uh, other species inhabiting in that same habitat next elephas maximus or asian elephant okay those are mainly found in the western ghat region of india and their uh, conservation also helps to conserve other species uh, present in that habitat giant panda Eluropoda melanoleuca. Okay, they are mainly conserved, uh, mainly used as a flagship species in China, and they are also the main icon of WWF World Wildlife Fund. Okay, why? Because due to uh, high development, high economic development in China, the uh, the forest, the habitat for giant panda is decreasing. Okay, and it has decreased so much that they now need to be saved they now need to be conserved okay because their conservation will also conserve uh, the the ecosystem in which it in which it inhabits and also the water resource for uh, many people in china okay so that is why giant panda and it is also very uh, cuddly very uh, lovely animal okay we all love giant panda we all love their soft toys okay that is why they are regarded as a flagship species next amur tiger amur leopard uh, those are uh, flagship species of korea snow leopard of mongolia 
Snow leopard, the conservation of snow leopard will also help to conserve the great Gobi ecosystem by conserving the um, camels, then the wild bears, etc. Okay. Then Macaca silenus or lion tailed maca. These are also flagship species of Western Ghat area and uh, their conservation, they are actually very good dispersers of seeds. So, their conservation will help to uh, conserve the forest ecosystem as a whole. On the other hand, uh, there may be some relatively less charis charismatic species, okay, but those are locally significant and they can also be treated as a flagship species okay that means they are less charismatic but they have a great effect on their local uh, uh, local environment okay uh, because they are locally significant what are those like pemba flying fox of tanzania chisa peak blue crab of usa okay those are not so much charismatic but they have local significance that is why they are uh, considered as flag flagship species of Tanzania and USA. So, I hope now what he, uh, the concept of flagship species is clear to you and if you find this video useful, don't forget to like the channel, uh, subscribe the channel and like the video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and happy learning.